So Ronaldo's vast experience gives him the ability to intuitively read the game under normal conditions. But what if the conditions are very far from normal? Can Ronaldo still hit the back of the net if all the lights are turned off and he's in complete darkness? OK, what we're going to do, we're going to have Andy feeding the balls in as if it's a cross, and then sometime in the ball flight, the lights are going to go black, so you won't be able to see anything at all. We're expecting you to be able to put the ball in the goal. That's what we're hoping will happen. We're hoping that you'll have picked up some advanced cues from Andy's body position, the shapes, the positioning of his feet and his hips, and therefore we'll be able to tell exactly where the ball's going to go and get yourself in the right position, even though you can't see it. OK. Taking Ronaldo on in this seemingly impossible test is an amateur footballer called Ronald. Come and join me, Ronald. Ronald, Ronaldo. So we've got Ronald in here, same age as you, roughly the same height. We're going to use Ronald as a comparison and see how he reacts doing this same test. Ronald is going first. Dark! <laughs> Light! Light! <laughs> so what does the night vision reveal? Ronald misses the ball by quite a way. Perhaps not that surprising. But can Ronaldo do any better? I hope to do once. <laughs> Dark! Light! Aye, that's one straight in the bag. The night vision replay shows how differently Ronaldo performs. To confirm that wasn't just luck, another attempt. Dark! Light! Love that! Be careful! <laughs> and the replay? How hard is that? It's difficult because it's change a lot yeah because you are focusing the ball and after the light you you have to try to to memorize the ball human reaction time is about 200 milliseconds and by 500 milliseconds Ronaldo's subconscious has interpreted Andy's body language worked out which direction the ball will go in calculated its speed and trajectory and then programmed his body to reach it at the optimum moment Love that. It's almost as if they're doing maths in their head, even though they wouldn't be able to describe it to you. You could see from their performance that Ronaldo saw the first part of the ball flight information, he'd picked up information from Andy kicking the ball and was able to move his body into the correct position. This is because he's processed the information, he has experience of where the ball is likely to go, he's able to analyse all that as it's coming towards him and therefore connect successfully with the ball. Love that. Everything. 